Hey guys, Taylor Mongus has here coming on you with a let's play and today we're gonna be redoing a let's play of Alien Shooter Tower Defense. Now, the thing is, the last time you saw me do a let's play on Alien Shooter Tower Defense, it was on a different computer and now I've pretty much lost all the data so I have to restart. Uh, and also that was a while ago, I think it was about a year ago. Um, so yeah, or maybe two years ago. Now, here we are and yeah, we're gonna start. Now I've played this game sometimes before, on both mobile and desktop version. Now let's start a new game. Alright, and then start. We're, and yeah, we're playing the tutorial too. So we'll play. Now, the, the thing is that we couldn't really see the prices of the weapons because the window's so big it kind of cuts everything out. I can see most of the window, but yeah, I, I can't see the price of the shotgunners. Now I can see it in the stream, uh, stream labs window. It's 25. I'm gonna try to find a way to shrink the window even more. Can we use W A S N D to move the camera? I haven't been playing it on the mobile version for a few years, I think. So yeah, all of this is generally... Well, I still remember some things about this game. But... Huh. But yeah, some of the differences between the mobile and the desktop version is that for one, here in the desktop version, you use these green money caches to buy the supply crates. While on the mobile, you'd use uh, these blue crystals, which are kind of limited supply and requires an in-app purchase. And yeah, I'll generally avoid making any in-app purchases, and rather just play it the normal way even though it takes forever to progress through as with most Sigma Team games hmm. Now let's just select the better shotgun and then get rid of all the other ones same with the... Uh... Hmm. Okay, so this one does a little less armor damage. A little more regular damage. Hmm. Okay, so with this one you can upgrade the armor damage. Seems there's a quick recycle. Yeah, let's just re recycle all the weapons. Huh. We're running out of resources. Let's 
see what upgrades there are. There's rate of fire, magazine capacity, 6%, range, dispersion, damage to armor, wow, 100% increase. Allocate 2 points to previous skill. And an explosive shot. I'm gonna go for the damage to armor. Oh. Need more upgrade points. And yeah, the range. Mm. Well, let's play on level 2 this time. And yeah, like I said before, kind of. Some parts kind of get cut off. Windowed mode. Wait, but it it already is playing on windowed mode. Ah, let's just go. Okay, so the AK costs 47, the shotgun costs 36. Okay, how about we play through the first 5 missions and then we'll end the video. The settings, auto ammo refill, high health, no, extra panel, still, ah, always sort of soldier placement spots. Land mines. Upgrade the shotgunner. Now he does more damage to armor. I also play mission three. Oh, and by the way, after I play through the first five missions, I'm gonna also play through those first missions on normal and hard difficulty behind the scenes so it won't be recorded. Because it'd be kind of redundant to just see three playthroughs of these same missions. So yeah, new mission each time. shotgunners 
and the machine gunner. More armor damage and range. Increase damage or rate of fire. Let's increase the damage. <coughs> Mission 4 start. Hmm. Let's see how good this guy does. See what weapons inside this crate. This rocket guy deals with these crawlers. Yeah, crawlers. They're called them caterpillars because they have to really rip the caterpillars. This one does a little more damage. Well, let's just use this one for now. Uh, maybe we don't even need this, so recycle. And then level. Yeah, level them up even more. Magazine capacity, oh, level 11. Okay, and then... Last... For this... Video, I'm gonna play Mission 5, start. Yeah, I wish there was a way to shrink through a window. But anyways, yeah, play. So, this... Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Mission 6? No, not yet. Now we've got a supply crate. This is a marked with Mossberg with a explosive rare you can see. Unique cryolator. Huh. Now let's look at the crates. First there's the uh, 4900 and it's 3 items, standard weapon possibility of rare. And then 6500, 4 items standard, possibility of rare or unique ammunition. And then 9800, standard weapon, at least one rare, possible unique legendary weapon. And then 13600, many rare weapons, possibility of unique, at least one legendary weapon and ammunition. Huh. Well, let's see. Uh, yeah, probably don't need this. Oh, this. Now let's hire this thing. And now this is the guy that has ice and fire. So yeah, we, we might need him. Hmm. Okay, so let's get rid of this one. Equip this. Get rid of this and now we have and then get rid of all the snipers skills increase the magazine capacity and then let's train this guy more 2150 and 2430 now, 11.34 Alright And increases mag capacity And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video Hopefully by next video I can shrink this window for the game so I can see everything Um Cause it's gonna be kind of hard to record it while it's full screen And yeah, anyways, in the meantime, I'll play through all three difficulty levels of the first five missions. And that's it. So, see ya.